Welcome to another Drag Race related channel! In today's video I'm going to review the third episode of Drag Race Italia season 2, where the queens had to do the snatch game! This entire episode, and also the snatch game itself, are the proof of how talented this cast is, and also of how much this season has stepped up the game from season 1. It was unbelievably good, even the Snatch game itself, it it's one of the best of 2022, if not the best. Because we all remember All Star 7 Snatch game, which is regarded as the best of 2022. But for many reasons, I can confidently say that this Snatch game was even better. And that it's so unbelievable coming from Drag Race Italia. But it's the truth. Everyone was so strong. We had two stellar performances, other two great performances, and then the other four were kind of decent. Just one maybe wasn't was bottom worthy. But seven girls out of eight at least did a decent job, which is really a lot for a snatch game. It's not how it usually goes. But let's see what every queen did. I want to start from one of the two best performances of the Snatch Game, Nelenia's Eleanor Ferruzzi. I agree, she should have won, but I do agree with a Diamond's win. In fact, and I'm going to say it right away, this was the week where I think we should have had two wins, a double win. It would have been the best decision ever, because yes, I, sh I think that Nelenia should have won, but if she won and La Diamond didn't, I would still think that La Diamonds should have won. And that's why the two gave us two great performances, different in many ways. Because Nelenia's was hysterical. Like, I can't even describe how the room at the viewing party that I went to how that room was when Nelenia was speaking. It was, she was so in your face with those screams. She was hilarious and she knew all, the, all of the catchphrases of Eleanor. It was perfect. On the other hand, we had La Diamond that was not so much in your face, but her impersonation was perfect. She looked just like him. She sounded like him. And she was, and I agree with Tommaso, she was a bit more surgical with her jokes. Nelenia was screaming catchphrases, and that's fine, because that's what the character is. But La Diamond gave a more nuanced performance, so it, it, both were great at the same level, but for different reasons. And I do think that it should have been a double win. And then her runway was also pretty good. And I didn't get the critique, oh, but it's not couture enough. Yeah, it wasn't couture, but why should it be? <laughs> Since when drag queens are supposed to give you just couture? It wasn't, and that's fine. It was spectacular. It was a show. I loved it. That was such a great week for Nelenia. I'm just sorry that she didn't get the win that she deserved. A double win, but still a win. She's laying this competition. Therefore, let's talk about La Diamond. Like, even if you think that Nelenia was kind of robbed of a win, please don't come for La Diamond, because her performance was stellar. It just was. It was almost creepy how much she sounded like Cristiano Malgioglio. It was the perfect impersonation. And what I really want to commend her for is that not only she was, because, you know, Nelenia was screaming catchphrases, famous catchphrases of Eleanor, which is fine, that's the character, but she wasn't really playing with the character. Instead, La Diamond, not only she knew the catchphrases of Cristiano, but she was also channeling the person and its character, and she was really embodying the person to act and interact with the other queens and Tommaso. It was just a masterclass in Snatch Game. And also, her runway was pretty, pretty good. Yeah, the reveal was nothing groundbreaking, but it looked cute and it was probably the best executed 
out of all of them, it was just flawless, flawless. Basically, this was another week of La Diamond slaying. Like, it's almost ridiculous at this point. <laughs> Someone who didn't slay this time is Aura. Unfortunately, her snatch game was not really funny. She had a couple of moments that were good. At the beginning, when she called Tommaso Silvia, Ciao Silvia, that was fun, that was really funny. And then when she stormed out of the set at the end, because that's something that Pamela Prati actually did during an interview a few years ago and it became vir viral. That was good, but everything in between was... Like, she had the impersonation down, but she couldn't really use it to be funny, which is a shame, but... Anyways, her runway... Okay, I have to say something about the runway. The runway, the category was Colpo di Scena, which is a play of words between Colpo di Scena, which means twist, twist of events, and then Scena, which is the word for dumb. Basically, the assignment was a dumb twist of events. And Aura was one of the only two people who brought a dumb twist of events to their outfit. And you cannot deny this outfit was dumb. Like when she came out of the runway, it was hilarious. It was so funny because it was dumb. <laughs> Seeing her walking down the runway as Samara was so stupid. So she got the assignment right, and that's why I softly liked her runway. Still, it wasn't really her week. And it wasn't La Petite Noire's either, at least for the Snatch Game. Her Snatch Game was the worst. It was, she was the only one who didn't land a single joke for the entire thing. And she was going to be in the bottom if it wasn't for her runway. And I do agree that if there, there is a runway that could save you from the bottom two, it's this one. It's my top pick for the best runway. It's just, it was so spectacular and emotional. It was very emotional. And also, I love the fact that usually reveals are very fast and quick in your face. She took all the time in the world to really showcase all of the beauty of what she was wearing. And then the smoke and her face, her hair, the bodysuit underneath the dress. It was just perfection. It was perfection. So I agree, she should not have been the bottom because of her runway. These are the type of runways that should save you from the bottom if you don't do good. Point. Period. On the other hand, someone that I enjoyed both in the snatch game and on the runway is Kandalov. Unfortunately, she's getting a bit of the filler queen edit, and it's kind of sad, because I actually enjoyed her Snatch game. She wasn't at the same level of Nelenia and La Diamond that were giving stellar performances, but she was actually pretty funny and pretty good. I do agree with the judges, she was a bit monotone, it was, it was always the same type of joke, but still, it was entertaining, and she was nailing the, person, the, the character, so she did a great job. And her runway was along the one with of, of um, along Aura's one, the only one who had a dumb feeling to it, and it was nice. It looked nice, nothing spectacular, but it was dumb. It was funny, and it looked good. So, good week for Scandalove. Now let's talk about Pantera Virus. Okay, her Asia Argento was had some funny moments, and she was actually nailing the impersonation, the character, but I wasn't really laughing. I ended up cringing a little bit at times, and it just felt like the wrong choice for a Snatch Game. That was it. The impersonation was fine. There were a few jokes. It wasn't the worst performance, but I would say that I softly didn't like it. It wasn't my favorite. I didn't really laugh, and yeah. I have to say that when she interacted with the other girls, she could really be funny. But when she was answering to Tommaso, none of the jokes were landing. Her runway, she then told that she had problems with her actual runway, so she couldn't use the entire outfit that she planned to wear. And yeah, unfortunately, this wasn't a twist of events, so I cannot say that I liked it. 
But the look itself actually was pretty, so it's not a huge boot. It's just... I softly didn't like it, it wasn't my favorite, but it wasn't a tragedy. The look itself, if we don't think about the category, was actually pretty nice. And then we have Geoffrey, who played Pingu, a cartoon character from a few years ago. In the actual Snatch game, they called him the Penguin, because I think there were copyright issues, so they couldn't call him Pingu. And it was genius. That It was just genius. I don't have other words for it. And she had my favorite joke of the entire Snatch game. U pesce. See, u pesce, or il pesce in Italian, means the fish. And it's funny because penguins eat fish. But the fish, il pesce, in Italian, is also another word to say the penis. So it was such a layered joke. And also, and I don't know if that was intentional, there is like a viral clip of Pingu, the, cart- the cartoon, where there is a baby Pingu eating a fish in a very questionable way, in a very in the too sexual way. And so th- that joke was so layered, it was hysterical, just a word. And it was so funny. It was just genius, pure genius. Her runway, mm, I liked it. Her boots and her gloves, everything was beautiful. I do agree that the body was not on the same level of the accessories. I wish everything was more balanced, but I liked it. So, great week for Geoffrey. And now we have Obama. Obama's Nutch King was not the worst. I actually laughed a few times and she had the impersonation down. That's true, but I do agree with the judges. If you if you're Italian, you probably know how overdone Barbara D'Urso is by comedians and impersonators. If you're not Italian, I have to you have to just trust me and know that Barbara D'Urso is one of the most overdone impersonation in Italian TV, but not just Italian TV, even Personally, we all know someone who does a great impersonation of, of, of Barbara D'Urso, and it's always the same catchphrases and the same gestures. And also, it's the same character, it's the same person that was being impersonated by the guest judge that we had during the Snatch Game of Season 1. It was always Barbara D'Urso. So it felt very predictable, even if it was funny at times. And obviously, her runway didn't really, Obama's runway didn't really help. I, I get the message, it was beautiful, the message was beautiful, but I couldn't see the little aim airplane in that, like, the stage is huge, with lights all around, how am I supposed to see a paper plane, it was kind of weird, and then her first look, it was pretty, but it looked ill-fitting, and then the second look, the reveal, it was, uh, again, another mini dress, it was cute, the idea of having the Italian flag, but yes, uh, overall, it didn't really work for me. So it wasn't the greatest week for Obama, and I kind of agree with her bottom two placement. Oh, and I almost forgot. Let's talk about Priscilla's look. Um, I think that the dress was fine. Like, she revealed the entire thing too soon on the runway, but... The dress was fine. I don't really like how it was styled this time. The contrast between the orange ruffle and the black leather latex or whatever that was vinyl, it didn't really work for me. I didn't... It's not that I didn't like it, but... No, yeah, I didn't like it. Sorry. And then we have Sandra Milo, which I love that woman. She was, she was so sweet and lovable and enjoyable and the woman is 89 and she was there applauding the drag queens it was so beautiful to see even if at times i thought she was we had pingu joffre at the judges table (laughs) she was speaking like pingu it was so funny like i love her and yeah that's the video 
That's all, folks. Thank you for listening to me and please subscribe. It would be very, 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 very helpful. Bye-bye!